What's up, Monkey Up Silicon Mouse Slip? Today we're gonna find out if the 30 ounce Yeti Rambler has what it takes to protect an iPhone SE from a 100 foot drop. This is my Yeti. I enjoy using it. I've been using it for a while. It works pretty well. I suppose a lot of you have Yetis or similar cups. It's going to be interesting to find out if this will actually protect it. So we're going to be filling this with ice water, putting the iPhone inside of it, and dropping it from 100 feet. It's going to be freaking epic. Let's get started. All right, let's take the iPhone out. Wow. Dump it on out. Now this is a fully functional iPhone SE. Let's go ahead and go right here. And we'll let's go ahead and take the Yes, the plastic film. Love it. Popping off the top. Filling it up with ice water. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer on this. And just to give you an idea of if it survives the whole time, how much time is left on it, how long it was actually in there. We're off to the drop site. Let's go see if this iPhone survives. All right, do you think this Yeti Cup is gonna protect this iPhone SE from a 100 foot drop? Post your opinion in the top right. Here comes the drop in three, two, one. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. We have an aluminum pieces flying. A great explosion, yeah, let's go check it out and see if it lived. Woo. All right, let's take a look at the Phantom Clip. Here comes the Yeti Cup, and kaboom! There goes the bottom shooting off. There goes the top. We've got lots of ice water flying out in ultra slow motion. That is way cool. And look, you can see the O-ring from the lid slowly unraveling itself from the lid top as it flies away and separates. And then you've got, of course, the phone barely popping out before the clip ends. Freaking awesome. Let's see if this iPhone SE survived. Ooh, I am seeing, I think, water damage. Like, you can see some stuff under the screen here, and oh, it's hot. It is really hot right here, so that is not a good sign. I'm just gonna put that down, probably because the battery was corrupted from either, probably the impact, maybe the water, maybe both. Because I know that when lithium ion batteries come in contact with water, they have a tendency to explode. Let's check out the results on the Yeti Cup. So it looks like it impacted on this half right here and caused this part to rupture off. Let's go grab that. Boom, it's just a bottom cap. They could probably be glued back on actually. So I mean, as long as you don't want a lid on it, I suppose this Yeti Cup is still functional. How about that? That's pretty cool. The rubber on the lid popped off. Oh, and it's pretty scratched up pretty bad right there, too. But pretty sure if we just put this rubber back on here, that will probably be good to go. Unfortunately, the lid will not fit back on here now because it is, it is bent. Sadly to say, this iPhone SE did not survive. Water damage mixed with the impact definitely did it in. Again, just really, really hot right there on the back, even though it was just in some ice cold water. So I'm just gonna put this in here. Uh, as a safety measure. Well, there you have it. A Yeti cup does not have what it takes to protect an iPhone SE from a 100 foot drop. Maybe, maybe it would work using a waterproof device like a Note 7 or maybe the iPhone 7. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Brandon Baldwin out.